Um, my name is Ben Jones, and I'm on the board of the Conservancy. I have also been on the planning committee for this summit, so welcome again. Um, I'm very pleased to introduce uh, Councilman Brad Lander, um, who represents District 39 here, um, uh, which encompasses a huge swath of the watershed. Uh, the Councilman has been incredibly supportive, a wonderful partner of the Conservancy, um, and in general, providing great leadership in terms of vibrancy and resiliency uh, of this neighborhood. So welcome, Councilman Lander. Thank you, Ben and Andy and the whole uh, conservancy and everyone who's here. We had a great event celebrating uh, Hans. What you guys have done in, in building the constituency of people who care about these issues in this place uh, is fantastic, and I'm glad you're carrying it forward today. Uh, thanks to Adrian. We, uh, we miss you in, uh, in New York City, but it's great to see what's being learned around the country and, and brought back and strengthened here as well. Um, I'll be brief because you have a tremendous lineup uh, of speakers, and this is really an important moment to be thinking about these issues and trying to get them right. Um, as many of you know, we have engaged in this uh, year-long now community planning effort bridging Gowanus to try to think about this quite extraordinary moment that we have uh, brought to us in part by the Superfund and the fact that a real cleanup of the canal uh, is on path, brought to us in part by understanding what uh, a storm surge, what a flood looks like here as a result of Sandy and being able to think about the neighborhood's future, and brought to us in part by the reality of those development pressures uh, and a recognition that we have to get out front and make a real plan for the infrastructure uh, for the public investments, for the land uses that are needed. Um, if we don't want it all to be one by one by one, whether that's Lightstone or parole office or shuffleboard, um, if what we want is something thoughtful and coherent, we have to do it together. So one thing that really has emerged, and this is a lot that's emerged in that process, about the need to put the infrastructure investments up front, think about them, be really thoughtful about what that means, about the deep commitment to a mix of uses and what that looks like and how we achieve it and how we uh, steward it thoughtfully, um, about the things we want to preserve and protect, uh, like not only manufacturing but artist space and some beautiful buildings, um, and about what we can imagine and look forward to and how we try to balance and shape it. And I, it was, I did set Adrian up to have to uh, articulate that challenge, but I think we know we have it. We're giving a lot of thought to it. Um, and I'm hopeful that with some of the new tools that we have, some of the ideas we can have, we can get it right and go on us. But one thing that has really emerged as important in that process uh, you guys are thinking about and addressing today. And I'm going to start with the negative. I'm going to call it the Fourth Avenue problem, uh, which is when we think about what's out there in terms of new residential development, um, it's pretty ugly. It has not contributed to strengthening the infrastructure needed to sustain growth. Um, it hasn't shared its benefits well. Um, the things that would enable us to think, you know what, that's a place where we got the combinations right, where we thought about what kind of development would be allowed, but we did it with infrastructure investments. We were thoughtful about the open spaces. We managed the mix of uses. We got the active ground floor right. We were thoughtful about what to do, about how do people get in and out. Um, you know, the nearby examples aren't what we need. Um, Yet, and, and so what I'm optimistic about is that the community of creativity that has grown, uh, you know, in Brooklyn in an extraordinary way with Gowanus as one of its hearts is up to that challenge. There is an enormous opportunity to get this right. You saw the sponge park up there, so thinking about the open space. Who would have thought a, a, a I sometimes call him a billionaire, but now that he's become such a community partner, I'm switching to calling him a high net worth individual, uh, would purchase that beautiful old power substation and say, let's make a community arts center out of it. Uh, and, and actually some of the designs they've been thinking about for their waterfront esplanade are tremendous. Um, the creativity that is the reuse uh, materials cluster of film biz recycling and build it green and uh, the conservancy and um, what sanitation is doing uh, together with you guys in composting. Um, and then the community of design and creativity is, is so energetic. Um, it is, I believe, the right moment to think about those things together. And that in addition to all those other elements, um, getting design right 
um, and understood in its expansive way, not only what, the, what buildings might look like or what the landscape might look like, though that too, uh, but this broader set of questions that include the green infrastructure um, and how we'll manage the water that keeps flooding when it rains as well as uh, when the sea comes in, uh, that thinks about access, that thinks about inclusion, that thinks about this mix of uh, manufacturing and residential and what it can look like. Um, that is an extraordinary opportunity as well as a challenge. This is the moment to do it, um, and I'm glad you're taking it up today. Uh, it has been an honor to be your partner for some years now, but I really think the important moments of partnerships are the ones that are just ahead of us. So thank you for convening this great group. I look really forward to seeing what comes out of it.